Today we are roughing and finishing a slide pocket in A2 tool steel that has been hardened to 60 Rockwell. This demonstrates the latest techniques and tools for a complex operation that is typical to many molds. Careful planning and special techniques for the corner details help us make consistent, accurate slide pockets without the need for expensive and time-consuming EDM processes. As a standard end mill goes deeper in a pocket, more of the cutter engages the side wall, causing increased deflection with depth, tapering the walls. Relieved end mills can eliminate that issue by maintaining uniform contact from top to bottom. Special techniques can produce smaller and accurate corners too. Milling into an XY corner increases cutter contact to 90 degree engagement or more. Simply using relieved end mills does not overcome this problem, so we need to take special care in the corners. To make consistent corners, we need to avoid trapping the cutter. The solution is to either use a larger corner radius than the planned cutter, or to use a smaller cutter to relieve the corners. For our demonstration, we will mill a rectangular pocket that is one and three quarters by two and three quarters inches, 12 millimeters deep, nearly half an inch. We use metric depth to help us take advantage of the wide choice in cutters available in metric sizes. Our corners will be 1.5 millimeters, about 60 thousandths of an inch. For roughing, we will use a 7 mm high feed end mill made for hardened tool steel alloys. This tool has a very rugged design and gives us the benefit of a full length relief so that the milling flutes don't drag on the walls as we go deeper into the pocket. We are roughing with a 2000 stock allowance so that when we get to the finishing stages, we have minimal material remaining to remove. Knowing our machine, tool holders, and cutters helps us mill close to the final dimensions with confidence that we won't violate the final dimensions. We want the XY corner radius in the pocket to be as small as practical to minimize the need for corner chamfers on our slide. To ensure good corners, we will clean them out with a smaller cutter than required, two millimeters in diameter, with a 0.2 millimeter corner radius. We will program the cutter cleanout for a 1.5 millimeter corner radius, but we will intentionally program for about eight ten thousandths overcut to actually relieve the corners slightly. This will help prevent our finishing cutter from getting trapped in the corners. As before, we will use a cutter that is relieved to prevent it from dragging on the wall and deflecting as it goes deeper. The cutter engagement and deflection remain consistent from the top of the pocket to the bottom. Remachining these corners moves slowly, but fortunately there is relatively little material to remove. As we approach the bottom of the pocket, we get even more material to clean out. It is important to program this as a separate remachining operation to maintain the recommended cutting parameters. Stepping downward, we hold short of the pocket's bottom by about half a thousandth of an inch to avoid trapping the cutter. Now that the corners have been cleared and relieved slightly, the walls are easy to machine. We use a three millimeter diameter end mill with a 0.3 millimeter corner radius. Again, we use a relieved cutter to ensure uniform cutter deflection from top to bottom. The relieved corners cleared in the last step allow us to mill directly into the theoretical sharp corner without the cutter getting loaded and deflecting irregularly. As with the corner cleaning, we hold slightly short of the pocket's bottom to avoid trapping the cutter. The last step of the pocket is finishing the bottom. For this, 
We use the same 3 millimeter cutter as we just used to finish the walls. As we step outward, we hold shy of the walls by about half a thousandth of an inch. Again, to prevent the cutter from being trapped in a corner. At the pocket's bottom, we have held short of the sharp corner by half a thousandth, both vertically and horizontally. So the bottom corner of the pocket is not a perfect radius. It is more than adequate for a top-notch slide pocket once the slide is chamfered. Accuracy is maintained to plus or minus two tenths, and the finish is sufficient to eliminate benching and polishing in most cases. Milling accurate pockets in hard steel can be practical with relieved cutters, remachining the corners with a relief, and never trapping the cutter.